we tend to assume that somebody who falls in that normal weight category must be healthy, but it turns out if they're unfit, they have double the risk. It turns out if they're fit and higher weight, um, risk is about the same. Then we go to that last gray bar, somebody who's obese and unfit, their risk is 3.1, so it's triple the risk. So we're not saying weight makes no difference, but it turns out rather than focusing on weight loss, focusing on fitness is one example of how to mitigate that risk. So much more recently, um, this came out in, in um, October of 2021, Glenn Gazer did a meta-analysis. And let's just start by looking at the, at the graph here. So he's looking at obesity treatment, a weight neutral approach, meaning the focus is not on the pursuit of weight loss, but there's an increase of physical activity and fitness. Body weight may go down, body weight may go up, or it may stay the same, but the person receives the health benefits. Now we look on the other side, a weight centric approach, meaning a focus on losing weight, weight loss, weight regain, that futile cycle that we're talking about. And there's no, the health benefits are not attained or maintained. Epidemiological studies show that CRF, cardiorespiratory fitness, and PA physical activity significantly attenuate and sometimes eliminate the increased mortality risk associated with obesity. More importantly, increasing physical activity or CRF um, cardiovascular fitness is consistently associated with greater reduction in the risk of all cause cardiovascular disease mortality than intentional weight loss. There's a different kind of study. They looked at using at, at behave, looking at people's health based on behaviors versus body mass index. Um, and these were the behaviors, five or more fruits and vegetables daily, regular exercise, alcohol in moderation, and not smoking. And so if you look along this graph, um, the first line of bars, so we've got those, um, there's the light, I'm going to call them light polka dot, like lighter, medium, and the heavier filled in, um, represents BMI. So the, the lighter is what's considered a healthy or normal BMI. The middle, one, the middle line is the overweight category. And the last one is um, the obesity category. So the less, you can see the less of these behaviors the higher risk if you're, in the, if you're in the overweight or in the obesity category. So when we start with zero behaviors, we see you know, the highest dark gray bar if you're also higher weight. Move to, the, move to number four. So the four of those habits are in place. And you can see there's basically no difference in, um, in outcomes. Healthy lifestyle habits are associated with a significant decrease in mortality regardless of baseline body mass index. So in other words, when people practice these positive, sustainable um, health behaviors, will they lose weight? Again, maybe, maybe not. Will it improve their health? Absolutely. And as I say that, I just also, of course, want to acknowledge that there are reasons people may not be able to practice these, these behaviors. We know that there are people who live in food deserts where veg fresh fruits and vegetables aren't available or they can't afford them. There are people who don't live in safe enough areas to exercise, can't afford to go to a gym, you know, it's not safe to be in the streets, um, or working two jobs to keep their family going and don't have the time. So I, I want to present this in a way that we un also understand that there are other things that impact people being able to implement this. But isn't it fascinating to see those kinds of outcomes? 